kids spent the day getting in tune with their artistic side. It's all a part of the 8th Annual Art Camp at Powell Township School. TV6's Jennifer Perez has the story. A little bit deeper, and then when you do that, I'll pop you in line where you won't have to these kids are learning how to make print art for the first session of the day. This week the camp focuses on pop art, which evolved in the 60s. It's the idea that anything can be art. So the kids focused on kitchen items. Caitlin explains why she loves the camp. I guess my friend Tom, he comes here all the time, and he said it was really fun, so I came too. And I really enjoyed it, so I just kept coming back. Camp Art is organized by Liberty Children Art Project, a nonprofit that reaches out to underserved kids in rural areas. This is the second summer session, and many participating are kids returning from the previous year. Carol Phillips says they're becoming more bold and creative with their pieces. It's a very relaxed atmosphere, and I think the less stressful, it's, it's different than school in that it's way more casual and I think that kids have an easier time opening up and you know just sort of when that happens I think they get more creative they take more chances for the second part of the day they created pieces out of clay and to continue with this week's theme of pop art many created tiered cakes a favorite part of the day for many kids was getting their hands mushy while learning how to use a wheel I like the how you can make it yourself with your hands and um, the texture of it when you feel it. There are still four days left of the camp. It's free for kids in Powell Township and non-residents pay $5 per day. In Big Bay, Jennifer Perez, TV6 News.